Hello and welcome back guys, it's me Shishu back to you with a new video after a lot of months and we are going to make Discord JS version 14 bot so we have our dot and make a token, make a MongoDB URI, we have a video on that and the guild where you want to actually run your bot. So we will have our index.js and our source folder and of course we need discord.js. So first of all we will get the client and then we will need the gateway intent bits and now we just need to make our client and that's pretty simple we just have to do new client and we have to provide them the intents and we will do gateway intents dot or gills maybe and that's it just have to do client dot login give the token so we will do process dot and token but guess what we cannot use our end directly so we will need this package called dot end and we are just gonna do coir the damn package and then we will do dot config and run this now we can use our process dot and the token that is right here in the dot end not in dot end for example put it in dot end all right events and our damn commands and the sad thing is i i don't really remember how to do that let's let's hope that i can do it in a couple of seconds otherwise i will need to re-record or maybe some editing shit as well you can use fs promises as well it's your choice i'm just gonna use fs we will just need a uh, read directory um let's use sync client dot categories is equals to read directory sync uh let's make things a bit more simplified i'm gonna use join from the package called path so that i don't have to care much about uh, you know stuff so i'm just gonna do join and then first of all i will provide the dash dash directory name that means the current directory and now we can do simple things I have to do dot slash com uh, events oh sorry it's commands commands have our categories my bad and now we have that and after that for now let's make a single category called general and we will have a command called ping.js and for our command we can just use this name will be ping description will be um, just ping me or something and we don't really need any option do we uh, we don't we don't and for timeout I, I will do let's say 3000 well let's ignore the timeout thing or maybe let's keep it who cares and then we're just gonna do interaction edit reply well we can just do interaction reply and for color I will just make it something random average ping command what did you expect it for loop for our categories so categories dot length and then i'm gonna do i plus plus and then we will loop through or each and every damn command so i'm gonna do const commands is equals to and for that we will do uh let me just copy this and paste and instead of this i will do this uh and then i will do slash dollar client dot categories bracket i so now we are actually in inside a one of our folder now we have each and every damn command so we are gonna loop through them and i will do j's less than commands dot length terminate i plus plus and now we have to actually require the damn command so we will do require and let me just do dot slash command slash we need the category for that we are just gonna do client dot categories bracket i slash we need the command for that we are just gonna do commands bracket j now we are in the damn file all right let's do this if not command or not command uh, question mark dot run or maybe if not command well we don't really need the question mark right here to be honest or if not command dot uh, i don't know data then just return or let's do continue so because then the command actually do not really exist all right and now we will need something to store our commands we're gonna do client dot commands is equals to new collection and collection is coming from our discord js module of course and then we are just gonna do client dot commands dot set and then we will do a simple thing we will do command dot data dot name comma command and now we have our command set it so in a way our commands are ready and guys if you want to do you can do this thing command dot category uh, is equals to this thing well i'm not really actually saving the categories in this part so i just do it right here so we have our commands and now we have to make our event uh client dot events is equals to uh, let's just copy this code because why not I can do it and then I will do events so we have our events right here and then I'm just gonna do for let i is equals to zero it is less than client dot events dot I don't know length and then I'm gonna do i plus plus now we will be in a file so first of all I'm gonna make a file called ready.js so that it is simple to understand how it actually works uh, now what do we do and by the way in our ping we are exporting an object that's how it works whereas in our event 
we will export a function so we will do model dot exports is equals to a asynchronous function which takes a parameter called client and that's it for a different event probably let's say for example if you have something like i'm just gonna make it because we will need it as well interaction create.js let's say we have this in that case we will do client comma interaction all right that's how it will work and now let me show you how we actually make it so now we are looping through each and every damn thing as you guys can see so we will do const event is equals to require and then we are gonna do dot slash event slash and now we have to give them the name so for that we will do client dot events because it's a as if you remember and then we'll do bracket i so now we actually have the thing and if type of event is not equals to function then we are just going to continue because we don't care otherwise client dot on client dot events bracket i dot split because it's a file name it's a string we are splitting it with dot and then doing bracket zero so what we are actually doing is like let's say the name is i don't know man ready dot js then we will split it with dot and it will become ready and it will become js so we actually need the name of the event so we are going to use the first one and make sure that your casing the names are perfect exactly what we take in the event names like let me just show you client dot on and you can see this name the name should be exactly similar to each and every damn character and each and every damn case so we have this and now we have to take all the arguments i uh, will do dot 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 args it's a spreader object to actually take each and every damn uh, parameter into a single parameter and it will be an array of all the arguments to be precise and then we just want to run the simple event function and we will do client comma args and we are just going to use a spread of greater once more so that these things are spread it away well we can do different things but it's fine like this so we actually have our events ready our commands ready now let's actually code a bit more and i'm just gonna do something like client sorry console.log and I'm, i'll just say client dot user dot tag is online pause yeah i should know that i'm online and then we are just going to publish slash post the command so we will do we will do client dot commands you remember this thing we created and then we are going to do dot map and v dot data so that we have an array of this data object because that's what we need to give to the discord everything else is not needed and do i spelled it wrong each and every damn place join all right it's fixed please don't mind the spelling i fixed it so we our ready.js is ready let's make our interaction create.js and don't mind if i can just hack some code this is a package which is really handy i created it so that we can do some good stuff in which i mean like in showing timeouts and stuff so first of all this thing no longer works we have to do is chat input command now and if it is not i did this not we are just returning otherwise fetching the command we are getting it in our collection if and then we are getting the member from our cache of command do not exist return if it is a dm only command and it is not a dm then return and then we're checking the permissions if we have any permission text in it then if they do not have any one of them then we're just gonna say hey brother you do not have the permission so please you're not allowed to use it and then we're just getting the timeout and then we're checking if the timeout is still exist or not if it do exist we are saying yo you are on or you are on a timeout buddy uh, and otherwise we're just setting the timeout running the command and let's go and we also have a catch function in case we got an error or something and now we have our ping command which i already explained we have already yes everything is perfect we have the events so i guess let's get started and run the bot and see if it works or not so i clicked no dot that is the command to run it and we got an amazing error and oh my goodness let's go on package.json i forgot to do npm in it let's let's do npm in it dash y because why not and in our main we will do source slash index.js and now let's do no dot and let's see we have another error what is it so we're getting an error right here it says command slash undefined slash ping.js this means the error is right here all right so for that what we are going to do it's pretty simple we are just going to log this thing i guess uh, let me just log it real quick oh all right so we have to do j plus plus that's the issue not i plus plus uh i'm really sorry for that mistake and now let's see if it works or not and if it won't work then i don't know what we are going to do so my friends our embeds are broken as well in our new discord js version 14 so we have to do this embed is equals to new embed builder and i really hate this shit and we are going to just provide the title 
and for the color we are going to do something simple we will do dot set color and we will provide them random right here i guess we are forced to use the damn function uh, we don't really have any other way so we are going to do that and i personally hate that shit i love to use objects but i guess we are defeated discord this version 14 welcome so now we are going to run this function sorry the command and bam it works and bam the millisecond and timeout thing works so that's how you can set up a simple bot that's how you can create embed and new videos will be coming soon and i will try to cover all the breaking changes and how to fix them from this for just version 13 to version 14 Team. new videos coming soon probably on Ares, probably on my journey in making some random discord bot or website bye